Mark Munson didn't know he would become a business owner until a pressing issue left its mark on him. I have no illusions of fame and fortune, but if I can make a difference, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. Mark is a St. Paul fire captain and paramedic who also spent 20 years as a volunteer with the Savage Fire Department. Throughout the years, he's watched as fellow firefighters battled something not as obvious as the flames they confront on the job. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was the cancer I had, and firefighters get that cancer at a 51% greater rate than the general public. Steve Shapiro with the Firefighter Cancer Support Network was diagnosed in 2014 and had to retire from his role as a St. Paul fire captain the year after. According to the National Institute for Occupational Health and Safety, firefighters have a 9% higher risk of being diagnosed with cancer and a 14% higher risk of dying from the disease than the general population. This is one of the areas where we still need a lot more focus and a lot more money put into is understanding what cancer actually does to a firefighter and specifically to their families, how it changes the course of your life irrevocably. We've done a great job of protecting our airways, but we've learned through these studies that we also absorb these particulates through our skin. Um, causing higher rates of cancer. Mark realized they had hoods to protect their head and neck, but what about the rest of their body? Turnout gear alone wasn't cutting it. We also have other areas in our body that are very absorbent, the groin, um, the armpits. So Mark took the materials found in their hoods and made shirts and shorts with the same particulate blocking barrier, calling it underguardian. Talcum powder is about one micron, so this is one-tenth the size of talcum powder and it blocks those particulates from coming. So it's a unique material. Mark says UnderGuardian has a 99% blocking efficiency. It was designed in St. Paul, manufactured in Minneapolis. The idea is firefighters would wear the shorts underneath while on duty. Then when responding to a call, put the shirt on before adding the bunker gear on top. All of it would get washed right after fighting a fire. If I can bend that cancer curve, if I can level it and start bending it downward and my name is attached to that, I'll be pretty happy. In Savage, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. Some of this, his fellow firefighters are testing out the undergarments and Mark says feedback has been positive. Underguardian is also available now online. We have the link at care11.com.